Hi, so we are on month two, week three, four. So uh, this week went really well. There wasn't a ton of discomfort. The aligners went in and out. The only complaint that I have, which, I mean, I think it's normal and I can't really get around it, is my bite is way off. So if any of you have ever gone and had like a tooth pulled or had a new filling put in, and then you bite down and your bite is completely shifted in a weird way, that's what it feels like whenever I take my aligners out. So when I bite down, I feel teeth hitting that have never hit before and teeth that used to lock into place, not even touching. It makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm just going to trust the process that when it's all said and done, I will adjust whatever new bite that I have, just like I do every time I have a tooth pulled or every time I get a filling. So I just have to trust the process. It's just, it's unsettling because by the time I get used to the new bite, it shifts. It's shifting every single week. I think that's the thing that I'm noticing the most. Like I'm noticing less gaps between my teeth as I did the first few weeks, but the bite I'm noticing a ton. And maybe it's just, because it's hard not to notice that. So these aligners, I'm actually really nervous about. I'm going to insert a picture of my first set of aligners versus these ones. These are the first ones that I notice my front teeth really starting to shift. And so um, after this month is done, I will post a before and after picture of the teeth as well. So I'll do that every month. So at the end of month one, I did it. At the end of month two, I'll do it and so forth. But um, these are the aligners for this next two weeks. That's the front or top, I mean. And these are the bottoms. And I'm just going to pop them in and hope that they don't hurt because I didn't take ibuprofen. Bottom are fine, and I just realized that I did not grab a Chewy or even a bath toy. So, let's see how that goes. This one is dented. I don't know if you can see this, but this tooth right here is dented. Maybe it'll undent. These ones aren't snapping in. So I'm gonna have to get chewed. Oh, there is one. Let's keep them all over the place. I think these are gonna be, last week I worried that these, the top ones were going to do exactly what these ones are doing, so. They're not, they're not fitting in. The bottom ones I'm not having huge issues with. They feel a little bit tight, but nothing huge. But these are the two week aligners. So these ones are thicker. So if anyone's doing small direct, you'll notice that like your two week, the aligners the same for two weeks. They're made of a different type of plastic or just a thicker type of plastic so that they can make it to the end of the week because with some of my other aligners, I will start to notice stress, fa stress fractures. My lisp is back. Like in the ones from last week. It's impossible to see. I'll insert a picture of the stress fractures that happen right at the top of my very crooked tooth. So I will insert some pictures of the stress fractures that I've been noticing on at least half of my aligners by the end of the week. It doesn't happen in the beginning of the week. I think it's from the constant pulling and pushing on and off. Um, these ones aren't as tight as I thought they would be. They're just, they're really hard to get in. Ooh, that one was tight. I am also noticing loose teeth. Now I don't mean so wiggly that I can wiggle it back and forth and actually show it on camera. It's slight, 
so I can move my finger and I can feel the wiggle. I don't play with them. As soon as I feel they're a little bit wiggly, I eat soup and I snap my aligners back in. The other thing I will say is if I leave my aligners out for more than 20 or 30 minutes at any given time, like if I have my coffee in the morning and I just forget, when I go to put my aligners back in, it smarts. So my teeth are moving so rapidly that when I take the aligners out, if I leave them out for more than 40 minutes, let's say, they're trying to shift back. So I don't know how some of the girls sleep overnight with no aligners in on accident and then are able to get their aligners back in because the thought of it makes me nervous because when I put my aligners back in, if I leave them out even for an hour, they're, t they're visibly tight. So I'll probably just have to work these for probably 30 minutes and I can already feel this one's shifting my bite also. So. So if you notice, my bottom teeth are incredibly visible. And if you watch my first video, this entire bottom row used to fit inside so you could barely even see my bottom teeth when I shut my mouth. So, and it seems like it's shifting over, over that way this week. Whereas last week, it seemed like it was trying to shift my bite this way. I don't know. So I will continue to update. And um, I will also update tonight on my weight loss because it has been amazing this week. So um, if you like my videos, then click like and subscribe.